What's up, guys? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Um, we're back at our delivery from this is the load I picked up in Laredo, Texas. Um, we are delivering it this morning. Uh, these people, you know, I'm crazy. It's crazy, like showing up to these shippers and stuff when they don't they don't they don't seem happy to see you no more like i walked in there the shipping door and they were they did not look excited to see me they seen me coming in with my paperwork and everything and they just had the worriedest looks on their face <laughs> they had the worriedest looks on their face like we gonna unload another truck it's just crazy how much people don't want to work anymore these days. They got used to that, uh, those stimulus checks. In that. <laughs> what was that? The Christmas haircut. Oh. <laughs> they got used to their stimulus checks and their getting uh, unemployment. That's what America got used to. And now that nobody knows how to act, nobody knows how to work. He basically said I gotta wait for this little box truck in front of me to get out of the way. And then um, they're gonna start unloading me, but I'm gonna start unstrapping right here and start untaking my bun start untaking start undoing my bungees and stuff so I can get this show on the road cuz it says it says at um it's 40 minutes before 11 right now got here at 10:20 and it says at 11 they go on break for an hour and they don't come back till 12 so if I don't get ready by 11 if this truck don't get out of my way then I got to wait till 12 to get unloaded which sucks. This guy's, this guy knows the drill. He knows what time it is. He's starting to unload me. I'm gonna show y'all what the material is up close real quick because I didn't get to show you in my previous video. But this is what I was hauling. Some of them are just itty bitty, just little round rings. This, this whole load weighed 8,000 pounds. And it's, it was about 20, 24 pallets. Tarped it and everything. Looking nice and shiny still for the customer. But I still got a couple straps to roll up. I just pulled my tarp to the side back there, obviously, because I wanted him to unload me before 11. <laughs> so I'll worry about that after I get unloaded. Um, some things, sometimes you gotta do stuff out of order to get unloaded <laughs> in a timely manner, okay? But uh, let's get her done.
you. I'll send your hand back there. Okay. okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, Zeke locked me out. Zeke! Don't lock me out. We're all done getting unloaded, guys. Uh, shot my tarps down with a different strap because that one was like dead. It was just starting to rip. But uh, <clears throat> I think my next pickup is in Miami, Oklahoma. Never been there before, but I'm pretty sure it's not like Miami, Florida. Am I right? Am I right, buddies? Huh? <laughs> All right, so it looks like we are picking up 92 miles away, an hour and a half away in Miami, Oklahoma. Let's get her done, babies. Whoop! So we pulled up to our next pickup. It looks like we are going to be getting some topsoil or mulch or something. It looks like, looks like a soil place, I'm pretty sure, in these big bags. So it's just, this load's just 174 miles. It's going to Fort Smith, Arkansas. And then my next load's gonna be something to get me to Ohio for the holidays. Here comes a forklift driver. Let me see what he says. Hi. Halfway? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Get down, Zeke. Get that halfway in the middle there. Okay. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. All right. I don't know their pronouns, but I'm not gonna say any more names so they don't get offended. I'm just gonna go to the middle, like they said. <clears throat> What's up, bro? You staring me down? Hey. She said, or they said. So is this like halfway, I guess? This here's good, I guess. I'm assuming here is good. They them said. I think this is gonna be a fast process, guys. We getting loaded today, we getting loaded today. <laughs> this is what I deal with, guys their craziness what are you guys doing you attacking each other Benji's getting feisty <laughs> alright y'all we're getting loaded we getting loaded today, we getting loaded today. Mm. 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 Man, that guy puts on more makeup than I do. Shit, I need to get myself together. I need to start dolling myself up. Nah, but to be honest, guys, I just, uh, that, that, that's not realistic, doing, coming out here, doing flatbed, doing open deck, and thinking you can get your, wear nice clothes. Oh, hey! Okay, stop now! It's unrealistic thinking to come to Open Deck. I, maybe reefer and van, but you can't you can't come out here and wear, like, your nice clothes and get your hair, if you're a girl, get your hair all done and your makeup all caked up. Like, that's just, that's not, that stuff is not realistic. I'm sorry. It's just not, like... You get so dirty, like you sweat, dirt all over your face and your eyes. It's just like, 
maybe once in a while, but, like, I'm not about to be out here. Like, I, I've been getting comments of people saying, like, oh, you used to be beautiful. What happened? Um, first of all, I'm not, like, before, like, I was scared, like, I was scared to show, like, myself without makeup. I always had to have my hair done. I always had to have makeup on. Um, I cared too much about what people thought about me. Um, now I don't care. I just show my true self, um, show myself without makeup. If my hair is crazy, like, I don't care because it's reality. Like, every day I don't get to wake up and do my hair and do my makeup and look good out on the road. Like, it's just not realistic. I'm sorry, but, um, it's hard to look pretty out here, man. It's hard. I just, I got kind of off topic, I guess, because that guy, the fork of guys got on makeup, so I don't, yeah, I got kind of off topic, but anyways, <laughs> we're getting loaded, <laughs> we're getting loaded, we're getting loaded, my CB still isn't working, so for anybody trying to talk to me over the road on the CB, I've gotten that a lot. Um, since I got the CB, a lot of people trying to talk to me over the road. And they're like, hey, I was talking to you. You were not responding, but I don't know what's up with it. It's not working. I might have it on the wrong settings, but I might have to watch a YouTube video or something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, got to get that fixed. I'm going to have to put, I don't have glasses to wear out here, but there's, the wind is blowing really bad. So I'm going to have to, like, get some... I'm going to have to wear sunglasses out there when I'm strapping down because I'm not trying to get all this dirt in my eyes. I do need safety glasses, though. I don't think I'll be able to deliver this load today also because they stop at 4. They stop at 4 p.m. And I think I'll probably get there at, like, 5. So I'll have to deliver it in the morning. And I got some things on my truck to get fixed, too. My ABS light um, is one of them. All right, we are all loaded. Yes, sirree. This is the load right here, natural and organic. Oh, we got cow manure. We got all different types of things today. Top soil in the back. Oh, these are all different things. Cow compost. Got pine bark nuggets in the front. Okay. Got a mixture, mixture load. I'm curious where, what type of place I'm gonna be delivering to. <laughs> I'm about to get the strapping, guys. See y'all on the other side. <laughs> Ew, why did I just sound like Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I done threw all my straps. I'm about to tighten her down. What is going on with this? I do not like that. Um, <clears throat> that that trans trans man came up to me, and went, he he stopped and he opened his door, and he's like, "Oh, I think he's over there. I'm gonna go this way." <laughs> he's like, "You know," he said, "I love it when people like you come here. You want to know why?" And I was like, "Why?" And he's like, because you don't hit on me. <laughs> he said all the truckers that come in here hit on him. And he's, he said, he goes, you know, I'm a trans, right? And they're like, I know. They're like, I know. I'll still grab you up in this truck. <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> you got to do better, man. <laughs> that's, that's, how, uh, that's how we doing it out here now. Y'all are that uh, lonely? I said, damn. I said, yeah. I said, the guys are thirsty out here. She said, yeah, they've been out on that road too long. <laughs> All right, let's get this baby scaled out. 
see what she scales, get our paperwork, head on down the road, Zeke Poo. Fort Smith, Arkansas, here we come. <laughs> we got to do a U turn somewhere over here. <sighs> Probably gotta let my hair build up too. Let's see. Guys, ready? I don't think we're delivering this today, boys. Get out of me. <laughs> Get out of me. <laughs> Benji was all up in my chest. Back up, cuz. Psh. Psh. <laughs> We have to go give him this paperwork, this piece of sheet of paper, and um, get our BOLs and get on out of here. This cow manure smelling place. Boy, it's stinky here. <laughs> Becca. Yeah. Yeah. Here, so when you guys turn in, you guys can get paid. So this is the customer copy. Okay. The address and everything's up here. But you're good to go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Be safe. Thanks. Back. You too. Happy holidays. All right, we got our paperwork. Now we can head on down the road. See, so they receive till four, so I have to deliver tomorrow morning. Get it in there tomorrow morning. <laughs> All right, y'all, obviously I'm in my house right now. Uh, just doing a little update because <clears throat> I'm at my house right now. I picked up that soil load, all different types of soil and mulch and stuff, whatever. I haven't delivered it yet because I just drove to the yard yesterday since I couldn't deliver yesterday because the cutoff was four, unfortunately. So, but I got to go home, which was nice. So I am home now and they are working on my truck. I needed to get my ABS light fixed and I had a leaking air chamber in my trailer next to my fifth axle. Uh, so that's getting fixed right now and I'm just waiting so I can go deliver my load. I think it's about to be 12 in the afternoon. Somebody's making fun of me because I called 11 in the afternoon. I was just, I wasn't being literal, but um, <clears throat> so yeah, right now I'm at my house. <laughs> The dogs are eating ice cubes because they love ice cubes. Want some ice cubes? <laughs> so, I am, that's what I'm doing. Get, waiting for my truck. I have to go deliver that load of soil. And then after that, I'm heading to Springdale, Arkansas to pick up my next load that's taking me to, it's going to Michigan, but it's taking me home to Ohio for the holidays. So, yeah. We're going home for Christmas? To go home for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody was asking about this in one of my previous videos they were asking me if i ever got a gaming setup i've always had a gaming setup i'm a gamer i like playing call of duty mostly i've played call of duty since i was like 13 years old um so i do not have it all set up but i'll give you guys a little sneak preview because somebody was asking about it that's the only reason why i'm going to show you they're like wondering if i've got a gaming setup but and they're asking me like what kind it's a pc i have a pc I got a gaming chair and all that, I'll show you. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> I have a bedroom that is just for my gaming setup. I have another monitor over here, it's not set up. That's an Omen gaming monitor. Uh, I have an Alienware set up right here. Got my secret lab chair. It's got, it was in storage, it's like 
kind of dirty, but <sighs> whatever. This is my PC. Show y'all this real quick. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Flexing. <laughs> no. Somebody did ask about this. I'm serious. I'm not just showing this like for no reason. I know this is my trucking channel, but somebody asked about it. So, yes, I am a gamer. I know how to play keyboard. I know how to play a controller. I play Call of Duty on controller, so don't nobody yell at me, you like uh, controller warriors. Because <laughs> people usually hate when PC players play um, keyboard on like certain games that are like controller. I don't know. But I have a scuff also. Yes, I'm a nerd, I know. What are you guys doing down there? So yeah, this is kind of weird because I never really like show my house, but I got a Biggie Smalls picture too that I know about. I'm really bad at hanging stuff, so <laughs> I haven't really hung anything up yet in my place. The only reason why I have stuff hung up downstairs is because my mom was here and she helped me. Uh, so yeah, it's my setup right here. Not fully set up, but it's getting there. <laughs> We're at the yard now, got my Duncan, you already know. <laughs> I'm about to head to Sutherlands, that's where I'm delivering this cow manure to. It's hilarious guys, I got here and my boss Jason came up to me and he's like, you wanna know why we have every single door in the shop opened right now? If you can see, they have those doors open, it's freezing cold outside. And they have those doors open down there, like the main doors to the shop. He said, because my load, so my load is like cow manure <laughs> and he said it stank up the whole shop because my trailer was in there all morning so i feel so bad i'm sorry denny i'm sorry shop guys that my load stank up your shop <laughs> but it'll air out it should air out fast <laughs> that sucks i literally can smell it from inside my truck like i feel like i'm a cow hauler right now it freaking stinks now we can get busy Get busy, head on to our delivery. Make this delivery right quick. Departing the ART yard, yes sir. Man, they don't play in Arkansas. This dude's unloaded me fast as hell. He got that. He got that fork forklift in uh, nitrous mode. <laughs> he ain't playing no games. Look at him. He's skirt skirting on these people. <laughs> he said, "Pull up in that forklift skirt skirt." <laughs> Oh god, I, dude, this is the fastest I've ever got unloaded before in my life. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. You're not about to pick one on head today. Everybody's like, they're all laughing at me. Oh, you no, you're good, you're doing a good job. You're really fast. <laughs> he said, I'm trying to get you done so you can go out and get your next load. That's how they do it here in Arkansas, baby. <laughs> he said, you're the fifth one that's been laughing at me. Skirt, pull up in a ski. <laughs> Yo, this dude on X Games mode today, boy. Look at him. Ski. <laughs> he didn't even ask me for my paperwork. <laughs> he just started unloading the next truck. He's like, when you see me in that... Forklift, say what's up, ski. <laughs> oh shoot! All right, I gotta finish rolling up my straps. This dude on X Game modes today. That's how I need to be every day. Shoot.
what he said. He said faster than I was. He said, well, you know what, I'm, I'm doing, I've done this for a living, so it's not no good deal to me. <laughs> You're the fifth truck so far, and I ain't had time to get it all in there. I'm, yeah, I see that. I'm sure I'm going to get more for the day over with. You guys get a lot of loads? Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah? You're the only forklift driver? Well, I say that. I'm the only one that can do this fast. You're the, the only one that, that does their job? Every, the girl <laughs> that usually comes out here and helps me, they took, she had two trucks come on her yesterday, and then she had to get somebody from Lumber to come help her unload. Oh. I'm, the, I, I'm probably the fastest one you'll, you'll come across. Well, I just want to say, uh, strivers appreciate you hey, because yeah. it's hard going to places nowadays. People don't want to do their jobs. Well, People I don't, don't want to unload. I'm not, my dad, I told the last guy, not him. My dad used to be a truck driver for years. Yeah. Growing up, and I'd, I'd go on runs with him. He'd take forever for them guys to unload. Like, dude, can you not go any faster? Everywhere I go nowadays, nobody wants to unload. They're mad that you show up there. Shoot, I'm glad you're here. I yeah. <laughs> The faster y'all get here, the faster I can get y'all out, the more money you make. Yeah. So, <laughs> Thank you. Ain't no problem. I appreciate you. Merry Christmas. Say Thanks. Bye. You too. Bye, <laughs> Say bye bye. <laughs> All right, y'all. My GoPro is about to die. I'm going to get another battery in, head on down the road to my next pickup. Got to get there before four. It's two, and it's an hour away. <laughs> I said that really country like. <laughs> That girl just waved to me. <laughs> People get so excited when they see when they see us females driving, huh? You guys are boys. You guys can't get excited. You're losers. Loser poozer. Females rock. Yeah. We got it on lock. Nah, no, alright. I gotta go. <laughs> we made it to our next pickup just in the nick of time by 30 minutes. We made it, guys. We're got about to get loaded. The forklift is putting his forklift away, getting ready to leave. He's not too excited. He's not as happy as the last guy at Sutherland's who just unloaded me. But, <laughs> hey, you only get guys like that once in a while. <laughs> but, moral of the story, we're getting loaded. And the guy's not happy. He was getting ready for his holiday weekend. Just like me, I'm getting ready, I'm ready. This load, um, I think this load might have to be tarped. It says it has to be tarped unless otherwise told, like negotiated or whatever. So I guess I'll find out. Should probably call my dispatcher. We got loaded. This is what the load is looking like. As you can see, I already started strapping down. I already started throwing some of my straps. I'll probably throw another one in the front, one more at the very back back there. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna continue strapping down. They hurry up, got me loaded before they closed. Told me to get out of there so they could close the gate. No biggie, this is a big enough area to strap down here. Trying to beat this rain. It was raining when I came from Schwartzmith, so try to hurry up before I start getting drizzled on. Hi, Ziki. Don't want to get rained on, Ziki. We don't want to get rained on. Man, we've been getting some excellent forklift drivers today. I cannot complain. <clears throat> Alright, I actually thought this was lumber. But it's not. It's composite decking. So, it doesn't say anything about tarping on my paperwork, so I'm not tarping this. I checked both sheets, mine and the customer's, so looks like they're getting an untarped load. So this load is getting me home for the holiday for Christmas. So I'm not delivering it till Tuesday next week. So I'm gonna have this load for a while, you guys. Sorry, but that don't make for a lot of content. But at least you'll know 
kind of what I got going on. I don't want to destroy this stuff. I don't know if it like bent. I've never hauled this stuff before. Yep, that ain't going anywhere. Oh, that one is. <laughs> I still got to throw one more strap over the back. I'm missing just a little section, but sorry, I'm not on the camera, guys. I'm all the way around my camp. I'm all the way around my deck, just tightening the other side. I'm trying to beat the rain and the traffic. <laughs> Cause it's about to be rush hour, baby. <sighs> All right, we're done shopping. This is it. All finished, ready to go, ready to roll. So this is my load for the next week, basically. <laughs> The next five days or so so uh ziki don't you market them dogs we're probably gonna end this video here and i'll see y'all in the next video make sure you like comment subscribe support your girl big rig becca <laughs> and i'll see y'all on the next journey peace <laughs>